Not everyone gets chosen to attend Aether West Academy, but you did. And in the middle of the school year, no less. That means you have a lot to catch up on. Socially, of course. With your charm and personality, you're sure to capture the hearts of all your classmates. And that's just what you intend to do. Oh, and one last thing. Don't ask why you're dorming alone. It's not important. Alright, hello everybody watching here, and welcome to Here for Sweethearts. Another game by... Arcade Kitten, be sure to check him out on Patreon for all kinds of goodies. So let's, let's do this. All right, warning, this game contains these things. Discussions of death. Please note this game was updated in chapters. As such, not all the content warnings will be available on the screen alone. Okay, gotcha. Welcome. Today will be your first day at Aether West Academy. But we can't continue without knowing more about you first. So... How are you going to present yourself? Oh my goodness, I gotta choose this? I'm gonna be a dude this time. Please note, this option will not affect your ability to complete the game. Okay, good. Thank, thank goodness. However, this option may affect how other characters describe you and language they refer to you with. Oh my goodness. Really? This decision cannot be changed later, so choose wisely. All right, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be dude this time. Now with that out of the way, how are you gonna present yourself? You could select your choice using the arrow keys or mouse over the text box. All right. Oh, look at the highlights. Ooh, I'm feeling pretty feminine though. Hmm. Maybe androgynous? I've never been referred to that way before. Huh. Let's try it. We'll be androgynous this time. You've chosen to present androgynously. Now that we have that settled, what's your name? This cannot be ch- Okay, my name is, uh, Washu. Washu, yes, that's right. You're Washu. And today is your first day at your new school. Aether West Academy, Awa. A pre- a prestigious school. Prestigious, probably, school that may- Many can only imagine they could be selected for. The acceptance process is strange. No one is sure why Aether West accepts the students that it does. What? <laughs> High grades, excellence in athletics. A good sum of money. None of that seems to matter. Even child prodigies have been turned away from Aether West with no given reason as to why. And yet, miraculously, you were accepted to attend. And in the middle of the school year, no less. This is kind of opportunity only comes once in a lifetime. And there was no way you were going to pass up such a one in a million chance. After spending what felt like forever preparing, you hopped on the train extra early this morning. Your luggage was in hand, quite full, but not as full as your spirits. And now, here you are. Standing on the grass of a new beginning. Hell yeah, a new school. A new breath of fresh air, and so many opportunities for you to capture people's hearts. Now, okay, can I save already? I bet you anything that this is going to be a play on words. We're like probably literally stealing people's souls. Because truly, that's what you're really here for. See that a good education is nice and the campus is certainly lovely, but nothing could ever beat the feeling of knowing you are loved by those around you. Maybe romantically. Maybe platonically. The difference between those feelings doesn't really matter. It could be either or, and would mean the same to you regardless. Who knows? Maybe even a mix of both. Hell yeah. To truly capture someone's heart, you just need to mean something to them. By someone they care about it. Someone they might consider a friend. That's it. More than anything, you hope that this school will be an opportunity to meet people who will love you. In whatever form that love takes. And you are certainly you will be loved here. You'll make sure of it no matter what. Hell yeah. Time to time to kiss some people. But before any of that, you need to actually sign in to, to school first. You remember speaking on the phone with the headmistress last weekend. Oh, please be hot. She said that once you arrived, she would meet you in her office. She gave you directions on how to get there, as she wasn't sure how busy she would be, but... Seeing the campus in person was entirely different than just hearing about it over the phone. Hell yeah, this is like a princess school. 
Look at all the archers. Speaking of phones, here's what's going off. Oh my, hey, hey handsome. It's dad, ah, all right. Hello, Angel. How are you? How's the school? Do you like it here? There? You got there safe. All your stuff with you. My dad would never, ever call to check up on me. This is weird. If you forgot anything, not weird, this is probably what, you know, normal dads do. Don't be afraid to let me know. I'll deliver it right over. I really don't mind. You explained to dad that you just got here. He's got to give you a bit of breathing room first. Okay, clarification. If I were to text and say that something's wrong, that, uh, like, for sure, there would be fixing things happening. Great, great guy. Just, you know, doesn't want to jinx me or anything. You haven't even gotten to your dorm yet. I'm sorry. I just worry about you. Ah, oh, thanks, daddy. Washu, there you are. Huh? Washu, over here! They're talking to you! Dad launches her <laughs> That's what you want to go by? I don't have a problem with it. I'm just... What's wrong with the name I gave you? What? You have to talk to me about these things, my angel! If you don't like it, I would... Aw, oh, you hung up on Dad. Wait a minute, that was our real name, wasn't it? You'll apologize for it later. But you're busy right now. You don't have time to focus on, on Dad. You have to talk to. You. Oh my gosh, headmistress. Oh, yep. Ah, wash you. There you are. I thought I might find you here, given our previous phone calls. Very astute, and I like your ears. It reminds me of the species of the person I thought was a Splatoon character in Cemetery Mary. I did my best to clear my schedule so that I could meet with you as soon as you arrived. How thoughtful. I'm so happy to see you made it here safely. And look at you, dressed all neat for your first day of school. Come with me, we'll get your paperwork all filled out and then you can get a feel for things around the campus. I will. How do I save this game? I can't remember. It's not that it's big, is it history? Oh shit. This is the chapter select screen. Okay. Whenever you press start from the title screen, you'll be brought here. Oh, very clever. Here you can select which chapters to play. Use purple arrows on the sides to move between pages. Chapters must be completed successfully in a linear order. Okay, so we can like replay them, I guess? After you've completed a chapter, you may go back and replay it. Okay, yep. You must successfully capture a character's heart to be able to move on to the next chapter. I'm going after all of the ladies, every single one of them. Chapters with gray backgrounds mean there is no heart that must be captured. Oh, there is no heart that must be captured to progress. You just need to finish the route. Okay. If a chapter does not begin when you click it, it means you need to successfully complete the chapter before it first. All right. For example, let's start with the chapter labeled intro. Once you've completed intro, you'll get to meet Nita. I'm looking forward to it. You may use your mouse. Arrow keys. Okay. Oh, okay. So we save here. Nice. Perfect. Got it. Boom. We're going to do two saves just because it's good luck. Get me in there. There was a little animation and I ruined it. I'm sorry. I think she leaned to her side all cute. You follow the headmistress across campus. A few students turn to look at you as you do. They must have immediately recognized you as being new, sniffing out the new blood like a pack of tigers. Maybe you would have, like a pack of sheep, I'm the tiger. Maybe you would have said hello if you didn't have to sign in first. You continue to follow the headmistress down a few corridors and some turned corners. Until you finally reach your office. Please be a cute office. Oh, it's so- Oh my god! The office seems almost claustrophobic for what appears to be such an open, large institution. Bookshelves sit on both walls. Not a single bit of shelf left space left empty. There is that secret language there, sitting there. I wonder if we can use that to create a cipher. Her desk said- I used to be quite good at that. That's kind of funny that I even bring that up or notice that. Because that used to be an interest of mine, so we'll see. Her desk sits in front of the window, facing away from it. What a pitiful way to have a desk. God, it's so dimensional. Judgmental. What is the point of putting it across from her window if you aren't going to even look at it? Because you have work to do, clearly. The headmistress takes a seat across from you at her desk. Sitting on her desk, looking at you, smolder style. You follow suit and sit in one of the two chairs that rest on the other side. She rummages through her belongings and passes you a stack of documents. Sign these, please. And fill them out with the proper information. You do as instructed. It's so nice to finally meet you in person, Washu. As you know, I am Headmistress Azrael. Azrael. 
a oh can we oh you can't see my mouse how am i supposed to point to things i don't know how to fix it just imagine my mouse is pointing at her right now or sorry at the little placket on her desk right now ah that is my first name though my last name is unimportant uh-huh regardless you may call me head mistress and it was with great pleasure that i welcome you to aether west academy now before we send you out into the world I'd like to go over a few school rules with you, if if that is all right. I bet you anything. There's going to be like a forbidden area, and they'll be like, oh, and here's a bunch of normal rules. And at the very end, it's like, but don't you dare go down to the basement closet. Anywhere but that. Across from the boiler room, it's locked at all times. I have the key hidden between my bosom. Don't go down there. You'll have to get the key somehow. You nod your head in agreement. Splendid. Well, for starters, school uniforms and school-approved apparel are to be worn at all times while class is in session. More casual wear is permitted outside of class hours, but you will still have a dress code to follow. Okay. There's a curfew at 10 o'clock at night. Students must be in their dorm rooms at this time. Uh-huh. We also ask that the dorm room you are in at curfew is your dorm room, winky face. Please don't attempt to stay over at someone else's dorm room at night. I'm gonna. I know that sleepovers with friends can be fun, but... Dorm rooms are for the two people assigned to them and no one else. Uh-huh. Oh, and of course, we expect you to behave properly. Be respectful to your peers. Clean up after yourself. Don't vandalize or destroy anything belonging to the school. But I don't have to think... I have to worry about you in that regard. Any violation of the school rules will be punished accordingly. But hey, we aren't all rules and regulations here. We have some fun in here for you too. As I'm sure you noticed, our campus is quite large. And that's because, well, we just got so much here. We got a library, gymnasium, a pool, a cafeteria, a baseball field, a football field, a school store, you name it, we got it. Oh, and speaking of that cafeteria, all your food is prepaid for- What the hell? No way is this real. Nuh-uh. Food prepaid for? What, did I cut a check? I'm gonna eat nothing but prime rib. You may eat to your heart's content. You tell the headmistress, that sounds wonderful. You're feeling pretty hungry after your long trip over here. Oh, I can only imagine that you're hungry for the hearts of others. I'd be positively famished if I were you, so I won't hold you too much longer. Just a few more things to get through. All right. On the weekends, we have some buses that come in that can take you downtown and into the city. Oh, sweet. Well, how old are we? I don't. I didn't even like put that together. They arrive at 9:30 in the morning and return at 9:30 at night. Ah, oh, that's a pretty good, pretty reasonable bus schedule. So if you want to stop by the city, please remember to be mindful of the clock. You wouldn't want to be marked absent for class because you missed the bus, would you? Uh, no. You reassure the headmistress that you will keep your eye on the time. Oh, and another thing before I forget, here it comes. We have a few school events like festivals and dances throughout the year to keep things fun. Oh. And you are just in time for our next dance, hell yes, break dancing. I believe we're calling it Starry Soiree this year. It's only a few weeks away now. I'm sure it'll be a lovely night. You tell the headmistress that sounds lovely indeed. And while doing so, you hand back the papers she asked for you to sign. Oh, thank you. Pretty soon. I almost said Natella. Natina should be here. She's a star student. I've asked her to show you to your dorm and give you a tour around campus to help you get familiar with things. Okay, first girlfriend. Ah, but one last thing before she gets here. The headmistress to meet her speeds to shift saving. Saving. Danger. Danger. Okay. Okay. What? What? Go ahead. <laughs> Suddenly, her gaze is averted. You didn't, uh... Uh, how do I say this? You've heard good things about this school before you came here. Right? You tell her that yes. You did. Everything you have heard about this school has been something wonderful. Oh, good! 
I mean, I figured as much. You wouldn't be here otherwise, right? Oh, that's a... That is a giant red flag. Well, I suppose that's all settled then. And, like we discussed, you aren't going to cause us any trouble, right? I wouldn't want to have to... <laughs> well, we won't do that. We won't talk about that. You tell her that you will be the best behavior she has ever seen. Oh, good. Because, well, if we had a problem... Oh, God. Very purple. I would be sure it's taken care of immediately. But I trust you. Kissing girls isn't a problem, is it? You seem like a good kid. I feel like that's the way that we're going to get in trouble. We're going to try to, like, make a move on our girlfriends that we're all going to get. And then we're going to get in trouble. Now any minute. Oh. Now? Any minute now should be. Knock, knock, knock. Oh, there she is. Hello. I hope I'm not too late. You're not. Right on time. Not at all. Okay. We're, we're clearly we're in sync. Not at all. You're right on time. Awesome. So, you must be Washu, right? Come with me. I'll show you around Aether West. Okay. Well then, off you go. I do so hope you enjoy your time spent at Aether West Academy. Route complete. Good job, me. Look at the waving. Oh my goodness. Saving. How many save points do we get? Oh my god. That's plenty. Whoa! Look at that guy! Okay. More to go. Oh, there's three chests. Oh, I guess that's, you know, that's a lot to start with. Um. Alright, let's do this. You exit the headmistress's office following Natina, not Nutella. She leads you down the hallway as more students turn into head. Wait, turn? Oh, their head to catch a glimpse of the new kid. So, my name's Natina. You can call me that, or Nettie, or Tina, or. Oh, maybe you can even come up with a cute nickname for me. I will, probably. I come up with all my. Oh, nicknames for my friends. And I could come up with one for you too, Washu. That'd be, like, so cute, don't you think? Hell yeah. Ha <laughs> anyways. It's a always great to see a new face around here. Especially because, like, rarely ever happens. Oh man, there's so much I want to show you. What do you want to see first? I, like, point to her butt. Um... I want to see the library. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. Cafeteria library. I'm hungry. This is this is canon to what I had said before. I want to see the cafeteria. Sure, we can go to the cafeteria. It's actually not too far from where we are right now. Haha. -ha. Are you hungry? You tell Natina she has no idea. Ha ha ha. I'm sure. How long were you traveling anyway? What's your social security number? Here, let's get you some food. Natina heeled shoes clack against the floor as she leads you to the cafeteria. As you approach a pair of large double doors, you can only assume this is it. Oh my gosh, it can serve ten people! So here's the cafeteria. I'm. This is probably just a corner, but... That's like exactly the way that my tables look like at my high school. Five billion years ago. Nothing too special, but I do like the big windows. You take a gander around the cafeteria. There's a few students about it, but unlike in the halls, they aren't really paying much attention to you. Some are sitting and talking. Some are sitting and eating. Some are just sitting. Aside from those few students, the cafeteria is mainly empty. That seems about right. At the current time, it's a little late for lunch, but still too early for dinner. Oh, another great thing about the cafeteria is that the menu alternates every day. So you never have to worry about getting bored of the same stuff every day. You know, they serve the students that are bad, don't they? There's something wrong underneath the scene. I know it. I'm going to figure it out. My friends and I tend to sit over by that table over there. You're welcome to join us anytime you want. I mean, unless you like to eat outside. Like some people. You're unsure what Natina means by that. Instead of asking, you will have to thank Natina for her kind offer to sit with her at lunch. 
but as you open your mouth to speak, your stomach growls quite loudly. Haha, <laughs> you really are hungry, huh? Let's grab a snack while we're here then. After that, where do you want to go next? Okay, a snack. I want a full meal. I want to assess everything. Show me what I'm going to eat. Okay, we. I, I think we already ate. I ate a sandwich with Natina. I slathered it with Nutella. And chomped down on it while looking at her. And she looked at me. And now we're going to go to the library with my sticky fingers. No, I would wash my hands. I'm kidding. Yeah, I'll show you the library. It's like super pretty. I mean, does it matter what order I go in? Hmm. Probably not. Here we are. A few shushes come from all directions. Oops, ee, -hee. I always forget I'm supposed to be quiet in here. Anyway, here's the library. There's books, books, and books galore. Any book you could ever need, you're guaranteed to find it here. But if I'm honest, I'm almost never here. That doesn't really surprise me. Like, don't get me wrong. I don't mean that in a bad way or anything. It's just, like, I don't know. Books aren't really my groove, you know? But it's a good place to study. That would have been a good place to sneak in. All right, well, what's your groove? What is what is your groove? You see, you gotta figure it out. It's like a riddle. And if you need somewhere quiet to chill out, it's probably the best option. The librarian is also pretty chill, you know? Really easy going and all. As long as your well-behaved kid who doesn't make a mess of the place, you're, you'll be good in her book. You're not a mess maker, right? No, ever. Just kidding. So where do you want to go next? Okay, we're just we're just hitting all the hot spots right now. And then we're gonna I bet you like to go to the pool. Haha, <laughs> looks like someone heard we have a pool at the school. I don't blame you. I was excited the first time I heard about it too. Oh my god, it's so pink and purple. That is very is it supposed to be pink and purple? Here's the pool! Ain't it a beauty? I mean, I guess. Is that like gonna seep into the water? I mean, the pool is the only thing we got. We have a baseball field, a football player, a bigger a gymnasium. But I'd be lying if I said the pool wasn't my favorite. We should get in the pool together with her. And it's cause you don't even have to be part of the swim team to use it. They put up a schedule at the beginning of each week to tell you when it's going to be busy. But when it isn't, you can use it as much as you'd like. The only downside to the pool is that it's indoors, not outdoors. Wait a minute, so you like eating indoors, but you like swimming outdoors? And I think an outdoor pool is way more fun. But I guess this way, no leaves will get stuck in it, and you can still use the pool even when it's raining. It's pretty exciting to have such an accessible pool at school, but I doubt you want to go for a dip now, right? No, get me in there, with you, same time. Just the two of us. Why am I saving so much? We haven't even made any decisions yet. Here, where should we go next? Well, let's go back to the cafeteria. Yeah, I love the courtyard. You probably came in from there, right? I can show you the best ways to get back there. I'm digging that fountain on the right. It reminds me of something. I don't know what it is, a game from a long time ago. If I remember it, I will inform you thusly. Here we are. This is the courtyard. Most students come in from here since the opening faces the roadways. It's pretty big, don't you think? The biggest courtyard I've ever seen, at least. I really like that about it because it's nice and spacious. Yes, as courtyards typically are, Natina. And there's always room to chill out no matter how many students are out here. Just be sure you don't get hit in the head by any stray frisbees or wiffle balls students might be playing with out here. <laughs> but seriously, it's like a real nice place to hang out. We'll probably see each other here a lot too, Washu. I look forward to it. So, where should we go now? Um, the pool? Wait a minute, what am I doing? Don't we have class? I'm taking all these places. I should be showing you your dorm room. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> a duh. Oh, Natina, you're such a scatterbrain sometimes. I'm sure you must be so tired and you want to drop off all your stuff somewhere. I've been carrying it around this whole time. Yeah, that probably would have been a good idea. 
You should have told me to take you to the dorm room. It wasn't one of the options. Well, better late than never, right? We'll head over there now. Follow me. And Tina once again starts leading you down the hallway. However, she doesn't make it a few steps before... HOLD IT! Natina uh, Oh, jeez. Natina suddenly appears disgusted at what's in front of her. You peer around to catch sight of what could have caused such a sudden and intense reaction. What? There's a frog in the middle of the hallway, staring up at you with wide eyes. That's cute. Look at him. He's just a frog doing frog stuff. Ugh! It's one of Scary Mary's stupid frogs again. <gasps> There's no way Mary's in this game, right? The frog wears a sorry expression on his face, as if to say he's sorry for getting in your way, and maybe also for scaring Natina. Compelled, you kneel over to the frog and open your hands in a cupped formation. The frog gently hops in your hands. Ugh, you're really gonna touch that thing, Washu? It's an amino. What if it gives you warts or something? I'm not afraid of warts. Saving. This is very important. All right. This is our. This is my first wife. I'm not afraid of warts. Oh, that is not right. You can't actually get warts from frogs, idiot. I think that actually. I have no idea if that's true or not. It's clearly lost. I'm just being kind. Yes. Yeah, so what? That's not our problem. Hell yeah. Throw it onto the ground. Smash it against the wall. It's not going to come between me and my first wife. What are you even going to do with it? You tell Natina that you'll release the frog outside on your way to the dorms. I doubt that's going to work. I get it. You don't like disgusting things. It's... If it was in the school, then it's definitely got to be one of Mary's frogs. And those things never leave. Suddenly, a sinister look begins to creep itself across Natina's face. She asks you, What if we killed it? What? <laughs> Let's kill it! Why would we kill it? Oh my god. Hell yes. Are you crazy? Okay, so it looks like f full disagreement, full agreement, somewhere in the middle. <laughs> I like how the are you crazy is right over her eyes. Mm, let's do this one first. Whoa, whoa, hey, I was just joking. Oh, good. Okay. Don't give me that look. I was just pranking you, that's all. You aren't actually upset about it, are you? Not at all. I can recognize a joke. You clearly aren't a sick, twisted person on the inside. You look at Natina skeptically, but decide it's best to ignore the comment. Anyways... We were showing you to your dorm room, right? Remind me to come back! And replay that option, because I want to see what her other options are. Let's get back to that. I mean, like we were saying, I'm sure you're exhausted and want to chill out somewhere, right? So let's go! come through the courtyard on your way to the dorm rooms. You attempt to leave the frog by the fountain, but he immediately hops back onto your shoulder. Throw him into the fountain. Bart Simpson drown the frog into the fountain, but don't actually, just so it gets comfortable. See, I told you. The thing is probably too attached to the school to want to leave. You ask Natina if the fountain is not also part of the school. Ugh, oh, you know what I mean! Come on, let's just get to your dorm room already. At last, you're brought to the dorm you'll be staying in. It's clean. Well, yeah, there's nothing in it. Oh, wait, there's a roommate. Tidy. Nice. The bed has been made, and there's nothing on the desk. The only decorations are some generic posters dotting the wall. But you're sure to add your own in time. You know, I have to admit, I'm actually pretty jealous of you. Uh-huh. You ask Natina why that is. Because you got this whole room to yourself. Oh, hell yeah. Wait, no roommate? Aww. 
Wait, actually, I probably would prefer it that way. There's very embarrassing anime that I would watch that I don't want anyone to know about. Oh, but you were told it was two people per dorm. Well, yeah. Well, yeah, but no one wants to stay in the room that belonged to the dead kid. What? Oh, I wasn't supposed to say that out loud, was I? Uh, yeah, can you explain a lot? What do you mean, dead kid? You asked Natino about what she just said. Who's the dead kid? Look, it's really not that big of a deal. Who died? You killed them. It was like, uh, it, it was an accident. What happened to them? Death? Oh my god. Okay, well... <clears throat> I feel like that's the most pertinent one. Like, I'm not going into details or anything, because, like, bummer. But really, everything's okay. You have nothing to worry about, promise. Oh, God. <laughs> it really was just an accident. Okay. Please don't be put off, all right? All right, okay. We're not even supposed to be talking about this. Can we please not talk about this anymore? Like I said, I wasn't really supposed to say anything. And I can get in big trouble if anyone founds out I told you. So, like, this is just between you and me, alright? Alright, it's just between the two of us. It's a total secret that somebody literally died. This is a dead kid's room. And I'm living in it. And it's probably haunted. You hesitantly agree. Thanks, I totally owe you one. Oh, good idea. Anyways, I've been here long enough, I'm sure. You want to unpack everything, so I'll let you be. And seriously, don't worry about the thing I said before. Oh, it's already out of my mind. What thing? Everything is okay. See you around. Grab Natina's hand. All right. Look at all these options, geez. I'll probably just let you go. Natina exits your dorm room and leaves you to get settled. Dramatically grab her hand and romance her under the moonlight. That isn't here. Although you seem to hold a mostly friendly rapport with her, you can tell you aren't close enough yet to capture her heart. Aw, oh, damn it. Maybe you'll have to try again. I can do that. Okay, so we're supposed to replay this until we get it? I bet you anything. Hmm. Wonder how close we were. Figuring them out. She doesn't she doesn't like frogs. I get it. She she hates frogs, so should we just literally kill the frog? Loading this will yeah. You can't actually get words from frogs, idiot. Oh, really? Well that's a relief. You still probably shouldn't be touching them though. You tell Natina that you'll release the frog outside on your way to the dorms. I doubt that's going to work. If it was in the school, it's definitely got to be one of Mary's blah, 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 blah. Okay. Here we go. Sure, let's kill it. Ha <laughs> ha, are you serious? You tell Natina that no, you aren't serious. Yes, we're both joking. You just wanted to test if she was. Ah, oh, Washu, don't do that to me. You're going to make me look bad. I was only joking. Is that right or wrong? Hmm. Natina laughs, but you can hear it falter. She may claim that you, she was joking, but you can gauge from her reaction that she was very much serious. Strangle the frog. However, catching her in a lie isn't going to help you like help her like you anymore. So you decide to drop the topic. Should we done? Are you crazy? You won't forget this interaction, though. Anyways. Okay, so she. She really wanted to kill the frog? We were showing you to your dorm room, right? Let's get back to that. I mean, like, we were saying, I'm sure you're exhausted. Yep. Hmm. But he immediately hops back onto your shoulder. See, I told you. Thing is probably too attached. Yeah, it's like she doesn't like this interaction right here. Hmm. 
can you oh you can is that why I accepted who were they I mean if you want to get into the technicalities of it but like that makes a good thing for you right because you wouldn't have been able to make it in otherwise so like maybe it's a good thing that they actually forget that I'm not going to finish that thought okay oh grab her hand oh as Natuna turns to leave you grab her by the hand <gasps> doki power you tell her that you don't want her to leave just yet. Although you would be appreciate some time to the rest of the events today, you would appreciate having someone to spend time with a lot more. And if she would do the honor, maybe you can go catch an early dinner together before you retire to your room. Ah, Washu! Well, sure, I guess we can. Wow, that was easy. Hell yeah, just grab girls by the hand as they try to leave. I'm pretty hungry myself. Just, uh, you're gonna put that frog down first, right? Ah, right. I totally forgot about the frog. You gently place the frog onto your desk and tell him you'll be right back. You're kind of silly, you know that. All right, then. Inky show. Did I do it? I've unlocked the secrets. Shortly thereafter, you arrive back at the cafeteria with Natina. It's a bit more crowded than it was before. Now that it's closer to what most people would consider dinner time... You go sit with Nutina at one of the window tables like she claims she always did. As you take your seat... Oh, you catch a glimpse of Nutina's face. She is staring over at another table, although you can't quite pin which table it is. Okay. Her expression reads something sour. Hmm. What are you looking at? What are you looking at, girl? Is everything all right? Hmm. Are you okay? Huh? You tell Natina that she was looking rather annoyed. Oh. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Just some stupid bullshit from before you got here. You wouldn't get it. Before you can inquire any further. Wait. Fuck, is he really coming over here? Uh-oh. You look over to see who Natina might be coming or be talking about. A masculine looking figure with blue hair and round big round manly horns is making his way towards your table. He looks just as annoyed as Natina did a few seconds earlier. As he gets closer towards your table, Natina's expression suddenly shifts. It's as if she's controlling her emotions with a switch. Yes, I already... I did... I put that one together. That she has these little uh, leaks of this persona that sneaks through. It's like a, a sweet mask. Any trace of discomfort or annoyance had completely vanished. Oh, hey there. At last, the boy reached your table. Natina greeted him before either of you had a chance to speak. Oh my gosh! Hi, Theo! How are you doing? I was just showing Washu around the school. Did you want to say hi? Cut the crap, you know I'm here. <gasps> Whoa now! No need to get so aggressive. Is something wrong? Natina's question only seemed to anger the boy <laughs> more. <laughs> this is why you volunteered to show the new kid around, isn't it? So you could try to avoid this, right? Ha <laughs> ha, what? I don't have any clue what you're talking about. What? What is happening right now? Stop playing, stupid. You tried to tell them Croven did it, right? Hey, Croven? Mary? Look at these names. You tried to tell them Croven did it, right? What? Stop trying to get him in trouble. I haven't even heard the name Croven yet, Theo. Please go away. <laughs> yeah, let's. We're taking her side completely. I I know how to do this. Please go away. Excuse me. I don't recall asking you anything. Yeah, but I'm a passenger of this school. Geez, Theo, will you calm down? 
What kind of warm welcome is that to our new student? Yeah, don't treat me like that. You don't have to look at me with those sexy eyes. Oh, fuck off with that shit. Like you actually care about something like that. Well, they asked you to go away. So are you going to leave? Are you going to keep... Are you going to make this harder than it has to be? I'm not leaving until we settle this. You're really bothering me. Am I? Why don't you leave then? Because this is a tour of the cafeteria! This has nothing to do with you, so go ahead and go. I'm eating my dinner and you walked over here and started talking to my guide. Go suck an egg. It'd be better if you do. Ugh, Washu, but this isn't going to work. You should just go. What? At this point, you wouldn't be able to say anything to either of them. They would have diffused the situation. Oh, well, I tried. Listening to Natina, you let left to go dinner by yourself. Unfortunately, you weren't ever to get closer to you, Natina. Theo barged in and made everything awkward. Huh. I guess there was a different way to... Looks like you're gonna have to try again. Oh, I get it now. I wouldn't start all over from the beginning, though. Hmm. Maybe... Hmm. <laughs> this is... It's making me laugh. Okay. Um, I don't think any of these matter. Okay, please go away. What's going on here? Natina, why don't you answer him? Yeah, I feel like he needs to he needs to have whatever he's feeling be resolved. What's going on here? Washu, well, please don't worry about it. Okay. Seriously, Theo is just being dramatic. Dramatic? You're trying to get him expelled. Unless I'm fucking missing something. Ugh, I didn't say that. We all know who did that, so why would I say Croving did it? Did someone kill the student? Because you're a crazy witch. Who is Crowvid? What did Natina do? Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Oh, who is Crowvid? What did he do? I feel like if I ask who's Crowvid, what did Crowvid do implies that he did something. Proven didn't do anything. That's the damn problem. Little Miss Perfect over here just can't take a stupid prank. Oh. Stupid prank? It wasn't any stupid prank. It was embarrassing. It was humiliating. It was a whoopee cushion on your damn chair, princess. Grow up. Excuse me? Who the hell are you calling princess? Yeah, you're you're kind of... I mean, come on. Oh, I... Is this really about a whoopee cushion? Yeah, that's... That's probably not gonna go. <laughs> Tina, calm down. You don't have to cry about it. Oh, that is... That is not gonna go the way we want. I'm clicking it, though. Natina doesn't seem to get what you're getting at first. You gesture vaguely to her, trying to convey the message. Luckily, she catches on before Theo does. Oh, was that the right one? Sniffle. Theo. Wait, what? Wah. Natina breaks out into a sob. Even though Theo and Natina were having a scuffle earlier, nobody had turned their heads to look this way. Until now. Practically everyone in the cafeteria had turned to face your table. Theo, please leave me alone. I just wanted to have a nice time with Washu. Oh, whoops. I accidentally selected the right option. My thought was that she was going to completely lose her bananas. It's their first day, and I wanted to make a nice impression, and you... Why are you yelling at me? <laughs> Did you want to make me cry? Can't you just leave me alone for one day? You're making me look bad and... Oh, hell yeah. Please leave me alone. Oh, jeez. Oh, he's not a bad guy. All right, all right, I'm going. This isn't over, though. You aren't going to get away with this. Hell yeah. Theo quickly shuffles away from you guys. 
he clearly didn't enjoy everyone's eyes on him, as people typically don't. Wow, this is like not the way that I would have interacted with that situation. I would have told him to go suck an egg. Get the fuck away from me. Natina sniffles for a few seconds longer and then. Woo! Thank goodness that's over. So, what did you want to eat? You and Natina shared dinner together. She did most of the talking, with most of it being about herself. You learn that she's part of the cheerleading team. Oh, what a surprise. But being in the pool is still her favorite thing. The swim uniforms aren't as cute as the cheerleading ones, though. The more she talked about it, it starts to seem like she only joined the cheerleading... The cheerleading them... Oh, them? To get her team, to get her hands on a new cute outfit she could flaunt about. You also learned that, according to her, she is well liked. It's just a few of the freaks around the school that you have a problem with her. She's a nice person, that's what she says at least. But hey, it's alright. You're not a freak. So she likes you. And that's just what you want. Hell yeah. By the time Natina walks you back to your room, or your dorm, the sun is already setting. You've still got much to unpack, but that can wait until tomorrow. Say, Washu, now that we're away from everyone else. That was like, super clever of you. Well, what can you what can I say? Washu's got a big brain. Big brain in there. Like, really clever. Like, almost downright sinister. I think you're not as angelic as that face you put on. You tell Natina that you could say the same to her. But alas, her face is much more angelic than yours. Oh, that is... Ooh, that is smooth, dude. Oh, Wash, you stop that. Flattery will get you... Well, everywhere. I should probably get going, though. I gotta get ready for tomorrow, too, you know. And, uh... Thanks again for backing me up back there. I think you and I are going to get along really well, more so than I anticipated. So, let's hang out again soon, okay? Success, you gain- oh, you captured Natina's heart! Hell yeah. Alright, so, what am I getting so far from this? It seems like you kind of need to work or collaborate or work together in the way that your, like, comrade wants to go about things, so, I guess, I took, like, in that- interaction where another guy was walking up to me and a girl sitting there eating dinner like that's none of his business to be doing that that's not the time and place to be interrupting another person that's so incredibly impolite like that's what i would have focused on in an altercation like that like any point in my life like dude what are you doing can you pick a worse time read the room you fruit but this was more about working with Natina and the way that she wants to interact with things and she this is basically completely a sweet mask personality where she's putting on a front she like she probably likes to be mean to people she deems are worth less than her I mean I'm already getting that doesn't like ugly things very labeling very concerned with her outward appearance joining cheerleading squads or whatever because she's obsessed with the outfits and whatever it's um like you you remove the sweet mask and what's underneath you know that that type of idea super interesting um i'm looking forward to the next bits so thanks you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next part